Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm bringing you guys the next home run stock. Well, what could possibly be the next home run stock? And that company is, of course, Levi Jeans. I talked about them before on this um, channel, and I told you guys why I think Levi Jeans has the potential to be uh, for us to be getting in early on the Levi jeans, the Levi um, Stratus stock that haven't been public for too long, but this is a company that has been engraved inside American hearts. Everyone owns a pair of Levi jeans. I own a pair. I'm pretty sure that you own a pair too. Now Levi's, they just had their earnings reports and doing their earnings reports, they said a lot of great things that I'm gonna go through in this video so you guys can make your own decision on this stock or not. But like I said in my last video about Levi's is that um, they've been collecting data and for so long that they recognize that there's a new cycle of jeans, a new style of jeans that comes out around every 10 to 12 years. So at first we had the straight cut jeans that was in the, um, the 90s and then in the 2000s, you had your big baggy jeans, the 501s, the 504s. And then in the 2010s, we had the skinny jeans with the slim fit jeans, it's all the way to the skinny jeans. And for the girls, they had the above the waist jeans, below the waist jeans. So now we're down there actually has collected enough data to show that we are in the next stage of transitioning from the skinny fit jeans into now the what they're calling the loose fit jeans. So now we're going from skinny fit to a looser fit of jeans. They have already tracked all of this data like I told you guys about in the last video, but in this earnest report that has some great things to say um, that really keeping my eye on this company. I'm gonna do a complete um, technical analysis on Levi jeans. So make sure that you guys stick throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on this awesome information. But before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, and you will see two free stocks valued up to $1,750. With those two free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money. Also, I left a link in the description to Moomoo. Sign up now, deposit $100, and you will receive a free stock of Lucid. That is a deal that uh, we have made with them by clicking that link in my, de in, in my description. Um, deposit $100, you will get a free, stock, a free stock of Lucid. That is an electric vehicle company. Grab that while you can. Guys, it's free money. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button and hit that notification bell that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. So here we are on Levi Stratus. Um, their ticker symbol is LEVI. Right now they're at $25.55. They have a market cap of $10.29 billion and a dividend yield of 0.70%. Now if we look at it, when Levi went public, they went public at around on, on 2019 around $23, and then, then they went straight into the pandemic, guys. They went straight into the pandemic, price fell as low as $9. And then right over the last year, right after the economy started to somewhat recover, um, Levi's went up 63.47%, all the way up to $25. Uh, they had an all-time high of around $30.38. Right now, that's in that $25.55. So they are pulling back a little bit over the last three months. They're down 10%. When I do the technical analysis, I'm going to show you guys when I'm planning on entering um, Levi. I do not own any yet, but I do plan on entering, but I'm waiting for it to get at a perfect price. I'm going to do that at the end of this video. If you want to be a part of when I buy and sell this stock, um, I'm going to leave a link down in the comment section that will take you to my Patreon. Um, that will lead you to my Discord. And over there, I'll post every time I buy and sell stocks and do technical analysis like I'm going to do in this video. Now, during the earnings report over Levi Jeans, what was so captivating, what, what caught my attention is that um, Levi's, they actually talked about the new cycle of jeans that's coming out, the loose fit jeans. We're transitioning from um, skinny fit jeans to um, looser fit jeans. Now they have so much data that they know exactly how big Americans got in each state um, during the pandemic, how much weight each American gained by belt size just through the purchases of their jeans. So they know pretty much 
90% uh, of Americans had gained weight during the pandemic and they know by exactly how much. So they have a ton of data. They've been collecting this data for so long. Now during the earnings report, they beat their earnings expectations. Um, I'm gonna pull up how much they beat it by um, when we do the technical analysis, but they did beat their earnings expectations. In fact, um, it might show it on Robinhood, um, 13 uh, analysis ratings that um, Levi is about 100%. They expected was 37 cents per share and the actual was on um, 48 cents per share. So they did beat that Q3 earnings report. Now during that earnings report, they mentioned cotton um, 13 different times. And the reason they mentioned cotton was because the price of cotton has shot up 50%. And Levi jeans, um, their jeans are made out of 99% cotton. The only thing that's not cotton on them is the zipper and the button. Other than that, um, the entire jeans are made out of cotton. Now during the middle of the earnings report that um, shot the price of Levi jeans down, they have reported that Vietnam has been hit pretty hard when it comes to the pandemic. And that is where 90% of the world's cotton come from, from Vietnam. So that was what raised the price up by 50% because 90% of the world is relying on Vietnam for their cotton. Now, Levi jeans, a long time ago, they put in place that they would not get more than 20% of any of their valuable resources from just one country. So they only get 20% of their cotton from Vietnam. All of the other cotton that they get uh, is from different countries. So they um, diversify where they get their valuable materials from. Even though it would be the cheapest to get from Vietnam, they had put it in place to only get 20% from that just in case anything happens. And something did happen like the pandemic, the price of cotton shot up 50% in Vietnam. So um, it did not affect um, Levi jeans as hard as it affected a lot of other companies and, and cost them to raise their price. Now Levi, they did say with uh, the price of cotton going up so much, it only cost their company an extra $10 million. And that is absolutely nothing at all to a um, $10.29 billion company. So they actually won in that sector. And right after they mentioned that, the price of their um, stock has shot right back up after dropping like 5% in the middle of an earnings report just because of the strategic strategies that the CEO has in place by not being so dependent on one country just in case anything happens, guys. So um, once again, I am planning on buying this stock. I am not a financial advisor. I am just saying what I'm going to do. Please do your own research. But like I said, with the new cycle of jeans coming on, um, they have a great plan in place. They did not get hit hard from the pandemic. Uh, Vietnam raising their prices of cotton is really not affecting Levi jeans. And they've been pulling back over the last three months or so. I'm definitely going to get in on this company. But let me go ahead and pull up the chart so we could do a technical analysis of um, Levi. All right, here we are over on Trading View, um, ticker symbol LEVI. Levi, every bar on here is four hours. This is the four hour chart. So let's just go ahead and draw out um, a couple of the lines right quick. In fact, let's just draw out the Fibonacci um, sequence right quick. Here we go. You guys already know I love the Fibonacci sequence. So we're gonna draw it out from there to there. And you guys know I like to buy inside of the golden zone. All right, now we're gonna draw some support and resistance lines. Right there and right there. The reason why is that I see Levi have a hard time breaking below this resistant line right here. Well, the support line right here is gonna have a hard time breaking below that line. So it's still a little bit of distance away from that. Let's go ahead and draw out this downtrend wedge, this downtrend wedge right here. So it is in a downtrend wedge. And then we're gonna draw another support around right here. All right, so um, the golden zone is where I'm looking to buy Levi jeans. Now, right now it's trading inside of this downtrend wedge. Um, if it breaks out of this wedge, it's probably gonna trend back up sometime soon. But if it continues to use this as a resistance line and trade all the way down and break below the support line right here, then I will probably pick up a couple of shares when it pulls down inside this Gona zone, uh, anywhere from the $22.63 price point to the $20.03 price points. I'm planning on picking up a couple of shares within this golden zone right here. So as long as it breaks below 
um, this support line right here, I'm gonna pick up some in the golden zone. But if it breaks above this downtrend pattern and continue to trade up, I'm just gonna be patient until eventually it falls back to the uh, $24 ish price point. And, and then that'll probably be where I pick up a couple of shares of Levi jeans. Now, this is just a very basic um, technical analysis. Um, I didn't go over the RSI, I didn't go over the MACD. This is just support and resistance line and using the Fibonacci sequence. But when I post on my um, my Patreon, I do post the RSI and MACD and where I see um, the crossings above the zero and the RSI overbought and oversold and different things like that. So if you wanna be a part of that, that link will be down in the comment section. And there we go, guys. Let me know what you think about Levi Jeans, the company. Is it a smart buy? How many pair of Levi's have you owned in your entire life? Uh, me, I, I could say I ran through a couple of pairs of jeans and when you get a hole in them, that just makes them even better guys by, you know, it just shows a little characters inside of your jeans. But let me know down in the comment section, do you have this on your watch list? Do you have your eye on Levi's? Have How many pair of jeans have you owned? And if you already own Levi jeans, um, if you bought it earlier this year, you should be up since they're up 63% this year. Let me know all of that down in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. But before we go, don't forget to pick up your two free stocks of Weeboom and your um, free stock of um, Lucid. That is a electric vehicle stock. When you sign up for Moomoo Moo and deposit $100, um, it's free money, guys. Take full advantage of that. But anyways, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.